freaking guitar players. Now, the thing is, the thumbnail said, don't buy this pedal. So why are you watching a video on a pedal that I'm telling you not to buy? Usually you buy these, you watch these videos because you're like, guys, guys, I want to buy things. Okay, he, he, here's the thing. Leslie, show the damn thing. Uh, it's green. Uh. It's a tube screamer. Frickin' Brian Wampler made a tube screamer. Why? You all have tube screamers. You already own one. Now, why in the world are you watching a video from a guy that's getting paid to sell you a freaking tube screamer? It makes no sense. Because you know what? You have one. You have a Maxon, you have an Ibanez, you have a Joyo Amore, you have a uh, Jam Pedals, you have a JHS, you probably have a Wampler that he, he probably made some kind of Tube Screamer thing, you know, homage before. Um, you have a, uh, a, a VS Audio JHS, I already said that. You probably have two of those. Why are you watching this? A Tube Screamer is a freaking pedal. Very simple. It's usually bigger than this. Okay, fine. You might you might think, oh, that's cool. It's a mini one. But there's the Ibanez Tube Screamer Mini, and there's the the the, the more one. Yep. And while we get into this, it's a pedal that doesn't do a lot of low end. That doesn't do a lot of top end, which is why it's all like mid focus. Why? And that's why it's cool to like you know put it in front of an amp to push it to get that mid mid thing. Then some of you think it's absolutely necessary to use a tube screamer in front of your rectifier to make it tighter and it's a boost. Well, then it's not a boost because you're not boosting anything. You're not boosting anything with the fucking, you're taking the low end out. Get a fucking EQ. But no, I gotta have a tube screamer because that makes my metal sound tighter. How about you get an amp that does that by design, there are companies who don't have their amps be all low and flabby. Why should I spend thousands on an amp that's all low and flabby and muddy to then buy a fucking tube screamer or Horizon devices or whatever to make it tighter? Why can't these amp companies just make their amps fucking tight? It makes no sense to me. And then you're buying something like this, turning the gain down, turning the level up to boost your amp into tightness. What you're doing is you're cutting the low end out of your guitar and out of your amp because the amp apparently doesn't do it by itself. Okay, fine, rant about tightness over. So the thing is you already have one, right? Now you could say, oh, but Henning, I want the Moxie because look at the cool bull. Okay, fine, it's got a cool bull. It's not called a tube screamer or a tubey screamer or a something screamer. It's, it's called, called the Moxie, and when you got Moxie, you know, you're probably in the mob, and you're like, I got Moxie, and isn't that a thing from the 40s or something, didn't like, I don't know, it's, it's, a, it's a thing, it's like when you're cool or something, it's, it's, it's the yay of the good old times. Fine, you might want the freaking bull, because your pedal doesn't have a bull on it. Get it, okay? You gotta buy me, because I've got a fucking giraffe on my, fine, do that up for sale right here. I'm not as tiny as this thing. You might say, yeah, but Henning, I have an Ibanez Tube Screamer and I've got the Vemu Ram for 500 bucks. I also have the, oh my God, the Ibanez $400 Tube Screamer hand wired because that's got the fucking mojo that I need. Bullshit. And then Ibanez did the one with the new tube in it. I compared the mini versus the new tube versus the Vemu Ram. First of all, they pretty much did sound kind of similar. The Remoram had, Remoram had more, uh, but you know what? Which one was really the coolest? The Mini for 79 bucks. It's got more switches. I get that. I get it. You want the switches. Fine. Still, don't get it. You have a Tube Screamer. You probably have your Jam Pedals Tube Dreamer, which is normal size. I get that. So you want a small one. And you love Wampler. And that's the reason, I get it. Wampler, that's, that's good. That means made in America and you know Brian, good YouTube channel, cool guy, knows his shit, supporting someone who's into goats, not sexually. He has goats because he likes animals and likes to help them. Okay, that's the reason. This thing is, I don't know, 150 bucks. It's not so much more expensive than you know, China imports, but this is made in the US and it's, you know, a Brian pedal. 
So you're gonna say, but Henning, I really want the Wampler pedal because I'm a big Wampler fan. Fine, get it. But you have a tube screamer. You're such an idiot. Okay. You can say, if we look at this from the side, yeah, but Henning, I mean, these really cool metal knobs with a really cool riffly, you know, sandpaper feel. This is high end shit. And you'd be right. But your audience doesn't hear the metal knobs. You know what they hear? The tube screamer you already own. You have the pedal. It just doesn't say Moxie on it. Doesn't have a cool ball. It's not that small. And it's not a Wampler. Doesn't have the cool riffly knobs. So clearly, your tube screamer, even though it does what this does sound-wise, is far inferior to the Moxie. So you really need the Moxie. Even though the mini pedal craze is over, well, I don't know, OnePlus is releasing all those mini pedals and you could actually put them all in line and have a clon, a tube screamer, a uh, an ODR, all v w Brian's versions, um, something Plexi-ish. What else did they have? They did, we had something else. Oh, there's a rat spane, so a rat pedal. You could all of them have all of them in like a tiny little mini board. Fine. If if you're doing the collection and you want the little Wampler fly rig, go for it. Even though you already have a tube screamer. You idiot. Let's get to the switches. But Henning, my tube screamer doesn't have enough gain. I really need more gain on my tube screamer. So the fat switch, which adds gain, is really I've w been waiting for a tube screamer that does that. Really? Right. There aren't any other Tube Screamers that add more gain? Like, I don't know, the Tube Dreamer from Jam Pedals, which has a plus minus. I get it, it's not one player and it's not small and it doesn't have the other switch and it doesn't have the cool riffle lead knobs. Fine. I g get it. But don't get it! you guitar player! You have a Tube Screamer! But what if I want a Tube Screamer that actually doesn't do the mid-push and keeps the low end and the top end in there? Well, well, why would you buy a Tube Screamer? That is why you buy a Tube Screamer! So Brian went and did the voice switch. So when you fucking click that to the right, it's not a Tube Screamer anymore. It just does the Tube Screamer circuit, but without the characteristic low end and high end cutting. Therefore, not making it a Tube Screamer. Now it's actually interesting because now this is actually not a Tube Screamer anymore. Now it's a Tube screamer drive that keeps the low end in there. But, wait a second, the KHDK, KHDK Ghoul Screamer had switches where you could keep the mid, low, and top end in there selectively. True. Good paddle. Bigger. Doesn't say Wampler on it. Doesn't have a freaking bull on it. Also, I don't even think you can get that anymore. You idiots didn't buy it when it was out. So, hmm, maybe you need this. You do not need this! You have pedals that fucking do what that does. However, probably not in one pedal. And not that the price point doesn't have riffly knobs, it's not small, doesn't say one on it, doesn't have a bull on it, doesn't have more gain, doesn't run on 18 volts, therefore giving you more headroom. The bottom line is, <sighs> Brian created a mini thing that has everything that I just said, Completely redundant, because you have one. It might not do everything that it does. It might not be as cool. It might not look as cool. It might not feel as good. It might not be made in the US. And by now you want this, because you're a freaking idiot that buys the next Tube Screamer. Says the guy who has eight of them. This is a blue-greenish guitar from Valiant called the Soothsayer, built on my specs. There's a sister to it, the Smith in the same color, maple fretboard, Wang X, yes, locking tuner from Goto, Goto Bridge, bare knuckle, bare knuckle, P90, so we're gonna have some hum and buzz, but it's gonna be cool, bare knuckle, uh, humbucker, three position switch. We're going into the Tone King Sky King for now. And apparently, I'm making a Tube Screamer review now for you. For some reason. I'm showing you 
what a Tube Screamer sounds like. Because for some reason, you don't fucking know what a Tube Screamer sounds like. But Henning, can you please play it now? Because we've never heard a Tube Screamer. Okay, fine. This is what a Tube Screamer sounds like. Clean. Tube Screamer. Yeah, they sound freaking sweet. Why? Because it's all mids and the guitars are all about mids. That's what it is. Break up the open chords. Likes a lot of control on tone and EQ knobs. For me, keep it in the middle, depending on your amp, of course. Now you want more gain? Your Ibanez Tube Screamer Mini or Vemoram or what they're all called, or the hand wired one can give you this. So we're gonna click in fat, which isn't fat, but more gain. Keep the other frequencies in there, that's how you do that. See, the low end stuff.
the the voice thing is kind of cool because it's not tube screamery. But I mean, do you re ah, whatever? You're buying this anyway. Why are you even watching this? I'm gonna go into the Art Sound Vibra Sound Two. <laughs> It sounds like so. Very uh, dumbbellesque. Very thick. Marshall Miniplex the SV twenty H. Morgan AC20, which is Vox S. The JCM800, Marshall. Way too low endy.
I like the voice thing. That's cool. That actually gives it a different spin on different amps. Uh, that makes it not a tube screamer. Okay, way to go, Brian. You, you improved on the tube screamer, even though everyone's got one. I mean, it, it is fun and it is good. And I like when you kick in the fat and you really give it gain. Usually tube screamers don't have enough gain. And then this really gives you the lead sound and it's right there. In the, but okay, it's fun. It's not expensive. It's well built, it's got the metal things and all the, but you already have one. Now you're gonna say, oh, without the Moxie, I can't play. And we're gonna have to cancel gigs until I have a Moxie because, oh my God, my world's going to collapse until I have Wampler Moxie. My, this is what I've been waiting for my whole guitar playing life. You guys need help. You need real help. You don't need the Wampler Moxie, but you need help. I know what you're gonna do. You're gonna buy the Wampler Moxie because you need help. But fine, that's my job. My job is to tell you, you need this. You don't, but here comes my job. You need the one Plumoxy. It'll make you cool, it'll get you laid. I don't know. Get it, don't get it, whatever. If you need the 15th Tube Screamer, who am I to tell you not to? I mean, I don't know. Love you, Brian. Links below, animals at the end. Do you believe it's worth it? We're tired of fighting, breaking our hearts and everything we worship. It's reducing a rubble and falling apart Let's not go back to where we started You believe it's over It hasn't been like before And I don't think it will It's time to slowly get sober I can't addict to it long for the magical pill Let's not go back to where we 